Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Manmus Argunen Kunen. How did that do? Did I get close? This is a roll and write game where the the hook is that we draw on the cards. The cards are all made from a uh, plasticky, dry, wipeable, well, I say substance, <laughs> like plasticky stuff, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we get to write on these and wipe them off and play again. We are going to be trying to form a grid of cards. Some of them give us points. Some of them give us bonuses to help us fill in more cards. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. I'm playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. And the the game ends, the trigger is, when somebody gets their ninth card. We're going to be building up to three by three grids here. I'd recommend you turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel. If I've made any mistakes, they will be noted up there, hopefully. Let me know if you find any that aren't. This game's only out in German at the moment, but the lovely users of Board Game Geek have translated the rules for me. Well, not just for me, for, for everybody. So let's get going. I'm the first player. Get my scoring cards out there. Forgot those. Mine says the one on it, so that makes me the first player. At the start of the game, you get dealt two scoring cards and two bonus cards, and you have to put one of them back under one of the decks and arrange them how you like. I've started off with... This one here, now all cards have two parts to them. They have a part that needs them to be filled in for them to be considered completed. And then once they're completed, they will either score you the points or if the bonus cards give you the bonus. So this one here, I need to fill it with two sets of three, four, five, but one of those threes needs to be from a yellow die. This one wants four fives, but one of them has to come from a green die. And this one just wants ascending numbers and the lowest of these needs to be a pink. Completing this one will get me five points at the end of the game for every completed row or column that I've got at the end. And then these are bonus cards. This would let me change the color of a die, just in my head for my purposes, not, uh, not in any practical way for other people. And this lets me copy more dice from other players. We'll get into that uh, very soon once we start a turn. So let's get going. I'm the active player, so I take all of the dice and roll them. And I have two options on my turn. I can grab new cards. It costs three identical dice from these two sections or four identical dice from these two sections from either row. And you can take it and put it anywhere in your grid adjacent to another card, even if it's only adjacent by a corner. The other thing you can do is fill in cards in your grid. But the catch is you can only fill in a card if you can completely fill it in in one go. Now, there are ways around this. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just going to be uh, hoping for luck every single time. Although it's a dice game. Luck uh, certainly comes into it. So what have I got right now that could help me? Not a lot, really, because I even in this ascending run, I want pink to be really low. I've got three ones, so maybe I just keep hold of the ones and I could just get a card straight away. Now, the, the system of copying dice here is that I can choose to put some in this construction area that are locked and then I can roll the rest of them and I can have up to two re-rolls. Now, every time I re-roll the dice though, everybody else gets to copy one of the re-rolled dice, not the ones that are locked in here. But if I were to reroll this six and two, whatever they come up as, Marty would be able to write one of the numbers in. And that's one of the ways that you can, you know, fill them in bit by bit. Because some cards, like Marty's here, want seven numbers in it. You're not going to be able to do that in one go with five dice, are you? So you need to do things bit by bit. The other thing you can do is, if you've re-rolled both times, so you've rolled three times in total, and you're still not happy with your results, or maybe you, you're just stuck and you can't do anything with those results, you have got two chance options, which is either fill in one or two numbers on your sheets out of the numbers that you've rolled, or take a card from the top of one of the decks. I think I'm just going to lock Marty out of any rerolls, though, right at the start of the game. And let's think about what else I could have. Now, there is this card here, just wants the same number in all four slots, but uh, one needs to be pink and one needs to be green. This will give me five points at the end of the game for every two different bonuses that I had completed. And I've got two here ready to be completed, so that could be worth some points to me. I would like another one though, because this one up here, harder to fill in, but this will give me six points for every completed row and column. So effectively, I would have 11 points at the end of the game for every row and column. So I did say I was gonna try and lock Marty out, didn't I? I, I could shoot for that in the future. Yeah, let's think about that for the future. I'm just going to grab this one now. I'm going to use my three ones, and just by that, I don't re-roll anything. These all slide along. A new one comes out. So this would give you points for having yellows on orthogonally adjacent to it. So that is quite good, because that's not that hard to do as long as uh, the right cards come out. Okay, so Marty's turn now. And yeah, he's he's got quite a range that he can uh, go for. So what have we got here? 
twos, threes, and a four. He does need twos, but again, this is too many to do in one go, so he would have to leave this for another turn. If he's confident, he's got... What's he got here? He, he needs a green in this one. He's got two twos and two threes, but they're, they're, not, uh, they're not particularly the right color at the moment. He has got a yellow three, which would be good for this one, but, and he's got a four, but he would be committed then. He would need to roll a one and a five on these dice. It's a bit of a gamble with any of these to try and fill these up in one go. But hey, Marty is, uh, is a gambler. He's going to lock those three in and re-roll these two. So he's got a two and a four there. So while he's thinking about where to write those, I can look at mine and think about what I would like to copy. And I think this one I would like to complete the most. Well, if I complete this one, I need to complete loads of other cards, actually. But uh, yeah, let's, let's just go for crossing a four off on here. Finally, a number's been filled in. Marty, oh yeah, he's going for his uh, one and his five, isn't he? So he didn't get it. So he's just going to have to try again, unfortunately. It's unlikely, isn't it? He got a five. And that one's a five as well. Yeah, so didn't get the one, unfortunately. So I can copy off uh, the green or the blue five. I'll have the green five. I need a green five there. Uh, so yeah. So this is where Marty is going to get his chance. Does he want to fill in one or two numbers? Or... Go for the mystery card. He's going to fill in a couple of numbers, actually, because he's got the yellow three. What else would he like to do? I think he'll... Let's say he'll fill in the two there. So he just needs a one, four, five on there now. Okay, so it's back to me. And I get to roll. So what have we got here? Oh, loads of fours. I need fours on here. And I've got pink and green. And I don't have to re-roll anything. That is incredibly lucky. So I'm just going to write those in right away. And that card is completed. So if I do these two bonus cards, I'll get five points. So that works out quite nicely. So straight away, Marty doesn't get anything uh, to write in. And uh, it's his turn again. So he's got a bit of a mixture there again. Marty, by the way, we didn't go through Marty's cards, did we? This card is a bonus card. It gives you three uses of the power to buy a card for one die cheaper. And you can cross off multiple ones at once and reduce them further. Essentially, you're paying nothing for something. Uh, this gives him five points for every completed card that's orthogonally adjacent to this one. And this one gives him 24 points if he can get a card of each color. So tons of points, but yeah, will the colors come out? Okay then, so he's got a five and a one. He could just hope for a four and fill this thing in. I think that's what he's going to hope for. Commit to these things. He's, there we go, one and a four straight away. Oh no, what does he need? Yeah, he just needed a four. So I can copy one of these. A one, four, or a five. Let's... Let's copy, let's, let's do a, oh, or we could do the pink one. Yeah, let's do the pink one there. Because getting a power would help us uh, fill things in more. Okay, then Marty then is going to do one, four, five. Couldn't do anything with just two extra dice, even if he'd rolled perfectly with them. So he'll move on. Next up is me again, isn't it? Okay. Threes, two, and a six. Can I do anything on here now that I've filled this in? I could do a two. Yeah, I could do two, three, four. I could fill this right in and not have to reroll again. Marty hasn't got to copy a single die off me yet. See, I'm just going to write that in. Two, three, four. Tick that to show it's completed. And I've got myself three uses of changing the color of a die. Only for me, I don't actually paint them or anything. So Marty is going to go now. So what's he got? One, two, three, four, four. Would have been good if that was still available. But yeah, he wants matching numbers for these, twos and sixes and stuff. Maybe he'll just hang on to the two fours and try and roll at least another one so that he can buy another buy another card. Or or would he like to use a power and make a card cheaper? But he's gonna go big. He's got this is gonna be maybe a bit wasteful. He's he's kind of retaliating for me not letting him copy off my dice. He's not gonna re-roll either. He's gonna use two discounts to get this card for cheap. So this gives you just eight straight points for having yellows adjacent. They don't even have to be completed. He's gonna put it down here, which is off the table, isn't it? So I knew this would happen when we made the grid. I'm gonna have to just zoom out a little. There we go, and you can see a bit more of the dice tray now. The dice tray is made by Nice That on Etsy, by the way. They're absolutely beautiful dice trays. I'm not paid to say that, and I wasn't sent this. I bought this. Well, I was sent it, but after I paid for it, uh, I just think they're lovely dice trays. I've got a Pikachu one as well that you can see in uh, other dice gamey videos. We're done with Marty's turn, aren't we? So it's back over to me. What will I get? I've got some sixes, fours, and a three. Fours and four and a three is okay. But yeah, that only fills in two out of four numbers. I would need a yellow three and two fives. 
or just three fives would be okay. I don't know, I'm not very excited by the roll and I'm tempted to just keep the sixes and get another card. But I can change the colour of dice, actually. So I could change any three. I only need one four, unfortunately. I could change any three to be the colour that I need. Yeah, let's just keep the three and the four. So I need another... I need another three and two fives out of these. It's unlikely, isn't it? I shouldn't be going for this. I should just go for, for another card, I think. But yeah, I've started it now. Uh, one, th one, four, and six, not helpful. Oh, Marty gets to copy one, finally. Uh, so he will copy... He needs a lot of sixes, doesn't he? And he's, he's doing well for different colours. He's going to try and get this filled in. Six there. Because he doesn't even have to complete anything. And this one down here doesn't have to complete anything to get the points for that. So could maybe fill these in as quick as possible and try and rush the end of the game by getting uh, six cards... Uh, nine cards. So I'm re-rolling again, aren't I? So, yep, need a three and two fives. Nope. Not at all. So I can't do anything. Marty can copy another one of these. Blue six, perfect. He needs that for this card. So, do I want to fill in two or take a random card? Oh, another one's come out that wants you to have a load of different colours and get 20 points for it. If Marty can combine them, that'd be crazy. Now, I'm just going to fill in two numbers, I think. What could I fill in? A three and a four? I'm kind of restricted as to the things that I can fill in, really. I only need the numbers three, four, and five amongst all of my free cards. I'm going to take... A scoring card. I don't know what it's going to be. It's a pink. Oh, wants to have wants to be next to a load of blue. So what if we, what if we make the blue the center now, and then we can hopefully get some blues either side of this as well. So we can at least get uh, seven points for each. So if we complete this, it's already worth seven points. Yeah, that could be quite nice. Marty's already copied, so it's going to be his turn. And what does he want? He wants to get another card, doesn't he? He wants to try and grab that card. So that'd be another twenty points. He does want to fill things in, of course, but uh, yeah, he's just going to keep those fours and re-roll. So I'll get the choice of one of these. One, two, or five. Well, I need fives everywhere, don't I? I'm going to try and fill in this one, because this one here gives me the power to, when I copy a die, I can copy an extra die up to three times. Uh, I, c I can't use a die more than once, though. So that's... Marcy's trying again. He just wants fours. He got him. He got him. Okay, so I can copy off one of these three. So one, four, or five. What if we do a five over here as well to make that a bit more achievable? Okay then, so Marty's got his four fours. He's going to grab this. He doesn't particularly need greens anywhere, does he? No. So just pop that there, maybe? Actually, he wants completed cards next to this. Oh, that was in the middle once, wasn't it? Oh, so has he placed things wrong? Yeah, he wants that to be in the middle. But he wanted this to be adjacent to as many yellows as possible, so... Yeah, this is worth more points, actually. It makes sense to c try and prioritise this one. So why didn't you put that in the middle? Because you could still only have three. Stop arguing with yourself. Put a card down. Okay, so that's what he's had. Can't do anything with that one on its own. New card comes out. We'll give you points uh, for being next to sevens. Okay, then. So I'm the active player again. Oh, dear. What's happened with that blue? Okay, so I've got a lot of fives and a couple of fours. That's quite good. Just with the fives, I can fill in that card. And if I could roll another four, I would be able to take a card with three dice as well. So that's what I'm going to go for. Come on, four. That's a six. Marty can fill in a six somewhere. He will... Yeah, he'll just keep plugging away at this one. And then I'll try one more time. No, six again. So you can fill in another six. Yep, fine. And so now I... I can, I can fill in the two that I need here. It's still only filling in two numbers, isn't it? I'll just do that, though, because I can now copy some extra ones off Marty. And it's his turn now. So what's he going to do? What's he going for? Well, he wants like numbers everywhere, doesn't he? Threes and fours, or just twos. He couldn't do the threes and fours in one go. He's going to have to be very lucky to fill in anything, actually. He could, of course, just go for fours and try and get another card. Yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to maybe he can just race. Wow, fours everywhere. So I can copy one of these. Fours and a six. Let's do... Yeah, let's just do another four. To make that easier. And he's going to... He can take another card, any card again. He's going to grab this one, wants to be next to greens. I think. Or he could take... No, he's going to take this yellow one. 
because this can go quite nicely here and would give him extra points for completed rows and columns like mine, but this one's worth six points because it's a bit harder to fill in. Yeah, he's just going to fill up on cards as much as he can. So it's back to me. Okay, so... What do I need? 335? Three, three, oh, 335! Three, three, and they just do nothing else and don't re-roll and Marty gets nothing. Boom. That's fine by me. Marty! <laughs> Quick turns. Okay, so he's got all sorts again now. He's got two twos. Three of them and he's finished that card. He wouldn't be able to do anything else. But I think that's worth going for. So he's got... He's got the two he needs, so I'll stop there. But I can copy. I've only got this card to fill in, so... Yeah, there's no point trying to use my power, because I can only use a five. I couldn't use any of the other dice. But he's going to cross off his twos here. He's done that. What colour does he need? He needs a pink card, and then he's got all of the colours. And then that's worth 24 points. And he'd be winning, actually. I've got five points right now. Marty's got none. If <laughs> he raced to the end of the game with that, it could be a low-scoring game, but hey, it's a, it's a strategy, isn't it? Uh, my turn. So what shall I do? Threes, fives, and a six. The threes and the five are great, but I would need two fours to finish this off. Or do I try and commit to threes or fives and get another card? I'm going to go for threes, because with a perfect roll, we could still do this. And yeah, try and get at least another three to get another card. Yeah, we've got, we've got the threes, all the threes we need. Marty can copy off one of these. And so he will go for... This card's worth 16 points right now. I know this one's worth 20. And this, this one needs fewer things, but they, they need to match once they're filled in. He's going to start it off. Orange two, there, done. So I can take a card of my choice. What would be the best? Six card for every completed card adjacent. So you could make up to 18... Putting it on the edges somewhere. Blue cards would be okay there for increasing that. Oh, this is supposed to be the middle, wasn't it? Because I want as many blues next to this as possible. So maybe we just get a, a blue that would give me another power. Like, say, a blue that would let me adjust dice. They're just the numbers, up or down one. Yeah, let's try that. And go for that for mine. These all slide down. New card comes out. And, oh, actually, I want it to be there, don't I? So it's next to, actually, let's put it over here because it's still next to this card. But if I complete this, then that's a column done, which is uh, five more points. Okie doke. Marty copied one, didn't he? So it's his turn now. And what's he got? A load of sixes and a couple of fours. Ooh. Six, six. Oh, the, one of the sixes is orange. He needs uh, something different up there. Can he? Okay, so that's no good. He could just get another card. He's only got three sixes. He could discount. Yeah, he's not going to reroll. He's going to use his last discount. That card's done, isn't it? Should be ticked off. Uh, and he's going to grab this yellow card. Yeah, and that's going to go over, slide his cards over a bit. We've got plenty of room. No need to bunch them up right next to the dice tray. And he's going to plop that there. So this card is worth 24 points if he, if he can complete this. And... He hasn't re-rolled, so I get nothing. Okay. What's he up to now? My go. So, again, three, four, five, and another three. If I can roll a four on that, I can do that card. And if I don't, how about, like, blue and then that and then green and then something else? No, let's just commit. If we can get a four on that, that's 14 points in a turn. Let's go. It's a one. Marty, copy a one. Well, of course he can somewhere. <laughs> can he do it in a useful way? Yeah, he'll do that one as a one. And last chance. Come on, four. Risky though, isn't it? Another one. Uh, so yeah, I'll just <laughs> write a, a one in there. Okay then, so I don't think I want a card. I want to try and get some numbers in. So I think I will go for a three and a four. I can fill in two numbers. Marty's already copied, so it's his turn again. What have we got? Two, three, five, six. He could potentially do this. He would need to roll a two on the orange. But this is potentially giving me a load of options, isn't it? 
He's rolled two on yellow, that's no good. He hasn't rolled any ones. I can copy one of these though. I think I'll just do the four. So he's gonna re-roll again. And what's he got here? He needed two on there, which he hasn't got. He's got a one though. So yeah, he can fill in two numbers. He'll do... He'll do one there and he'll start on the threes here. Because his card's worth so much as well. I can copy one of these, can't I? So he's rolled a three. So I think that I want that one done. And would another one be good anywhere else? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the power, start filling these things in. I'm just gonna put I'm gonna put the six actually, the blue six up here. There we go. Okay. So that was Marty's turn. My turn. And so yeah, a five just finishes that card off. And if I can roll some ascending combination here, let's keep a one. I can keep the one blue. And then as long as the green is lower than the yellow, and they're both lower than six and above one, I can fill that I can fill both cards in in one turn. So yeah, let's uh, let's try that. Or maybe we'll buy a card as well. I've got the ones that I could buy a card. So Marty will get to use one of these. Ones and fives. Doesn't need ones there, does he? I think uh, he'll do a one there. Maybe completing rows and columns would be something for him. So I could just fill in this five here and then get another card with the three ones and not re-roll again. I could get a blue card. Maybe one that gives me some powers. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'll use the five there and then I'll use the three ones to take a card. I've got adjusting colour things as well. What if... What if we kept this roll and didn't take another card? I could fill this card in because I could maybe swap the colours here, turn the green into a yellow and a yellow... Oh, it's a one there. Now let's just buy another card. Stick with your original plan. So get things for cheaper, adjust even more colours. Yeah, I've completely forgot that I've had that power the whole time. Having, being able to adjust numbers would be nice. But I'm, I'm just thinking, I don't want these powers here. Two different bonuses. Get you five points each. It's not uh, it's not big enough, I don't think. I'm just gonna grab yeah, I'm just gonna grab this one. For three ones and put it there. New one comes out, and let's see what Marty can do. Now this one here is very nice, uh, because you decide at the end of the game which colour it is, if you've completed it. And so Marty's got a load of sixes and fives again. Doesn't need those, does he? He could go for I was gonna say these could be sixes, but yeah, again, yellow, orange, and green keep being the same number. He needs sixes there, but it's six in total that he needs. What should he keep? Maybe keep the fives? And then if he rolls a green five, it could go at the bottom there, and it relies on a lot of luck here. So, four, five, three there. So I can copy one of these. I could actually do... If I copy two of these, I could write in the yellow five and the green three here. And then I just need a, a number lower than three. So does Marty... He doesn't like any of this, does he? No, he doesn't. He's just going to roll them again. So I can copy one off. I think I'm just going to I'm just going to put in the, the one there. So that's done. I can adjust some dice now. And yeah, Marty's got nothing, so he can fill in two things. He's got another two there, so he's just waiting for an orange two to finish this card off. And then... what else? Yeah, he hasn't got any threes or fours for this one. He could do a two over here. Let's say that. Okay. Oh no, he's already used the two, hasn't he? He'll... oh dear. <laughs> Loads of ink came off on the finger there. Uh, he'll just do a one then. Yeah, I don't think that was a great turn. My turn though. This is going to be a great one. Sixes and fours and a one. So I, I just want ascending again. I want this, the green to be very low. Maybe hang on to the fours and maybe I'll buy another card and not fill anything in depending on how these come out. So I could do two. I could fill it in right now. Two, four, five, six. But then I wouldn't be able to copy anything off Marty next turn. Now I have re-rolled, haven't I? So he gets to fill something in. He needs to try and do this one. So he'll do a four here. I'm just going to do this one. Two, four, five, six. Yes, loads of uh, dice manipulation abilities. Marty's go, and he doesn't have to worry about re-rolling, because I'm out of it. So he, he desperately wants an orange two. 
but it's not happening. And he, he's just gone for scoring, 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 and uh, probably should have gotten an ability or two to help him out. He's relying too much on the roll of the dice. So what does he do here? He'd go for threes and hope to roll a green three for there. And maybe get, uh, maybe get some cards with it if all else fails. So he's got, he's got fives now. No, that's no good, is it? I can copy one of these. But, oh, no, I can't. I've got no space, have I? So I'll re-roll re again. Didn't even get any more threes. He'll, he'll write them both in here, though. You can write two numbers in, can't he? There we go. He's made more progress on that card that, if he completes it, is worth 24 points. Okay, so what am I doing? I, I just want like numbers, don't I? So if, if I'm willing to get something that only costs three... Actually, though, look at this one. I'm going to... I'm not going to re-roll. I'm going to adjust this one up to a two. Just in my head, but nobody gets to copy anyway. Uh, so I can take this card that gives me four points for every blue that I've got. And I've already got three of them. Seems quite good to me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's my whole turn. Marty didn't get to copy. So... Oh, and one's come out good for Marty. The reward you of having yellows. Uh, so what have we got here? Threes, fours, six... So a, a three and two fours would get him this one. So I think maybe he'll he'll hold out for some more fours. He does want an orange two though, doesn't he? To complete this one for twenty points. Yeah, still no no powers that he can use. He'll yeah. There's there's more chance of him getting a four, isn't there, than a specifically an orange two. Didn't get one there though, did he? So what have I got? Six six one three. But I yeah, it'd be nice to. Define these at the time that I want them. I don't have to write anything in. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for one because I can change the color of dice. So I actually don't care as much about that. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, come on, Marty. He wants fours. He got one. There we go. It worked out for him in the end. So I can copy one of these. And let's copy. I'm going to say that this one is going to be fours. And so he can write in three, four, four there. Can't do anything with the leftover dice, but this is now completed. And so that's another 24 points that he's got. So he's got 48 points at the moment, which I believe is a lot more than me. Although I've got 21, 26, and then that's a... I've got another 15 from that card. And if I can complete that one, yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm doing decently. If he gets that one, though, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should try and end the game before he before he gets that one. Have I got it? Have I done enough? Mind you, we get a next, we get another round. I think I need to try and trigger the end of the game. I just need to buy a card no matter what. So I've got one, three, four, five, six. So I can do orange one. Mm, haven't really got enough abilities here to. Ugh, I've, I've rolled completely different numbers as well. I'm going to lock in the orange one just so it can't be an orange two for Marty to fill in that card. I just want some similar numbers so that I can get a new card. I'm going to just stick with these. I'm going to adjust the four to a three, so I've got three threes. And let's just grab something. Blue cards are worth four points wherever they are. Just going to grab that, put that in there, and I've triggered the end of the game. So we're going to finish this round and play one more round. And then that's it. So Marty didn't get to... Oh, he did get to copy something. Didn't he? Oh, he could have copied any of these, couldn't he? I re-rolled. So he's, he's not close to anything other than that one. And he can't change the colour of a die. So maybe just write in a... Write in a four, eh? Okay, so Marty can see the writing on the wall. He... Has he got all the colours even? He hasn't even got all, all the colours. Oh, no. Well, all he needs is to be able to get a die, so I think that needs to be his priority, as well as trying to get the orange two, because that's 20 points, but not if he doesn't get a pink. He's going to stop right there, so I, I can copy one of these, can't I? Fours and sixes. I am going to copy this, and I'm going to change the colour of the four to be pink. I could take another one, but it doesn't help me, does it? No, I can't use sixes. Okie doke. So once he's got the right colours, now if he can complete that thing. Maybe, would he go for another reroll to try and get the... I think he'd go for another reroll to try and get that orange too. He wouldn't actually stop. 
He got it. Brilliant for him. Uh, so I can copy again, but he's got that 20.2 in there. Okay, and I can copy... I can copy the two. Yeah, let's adjust the two to be a one, because it's already orange. Boom, and I just need to roll a one, and I've done that one that's worth uh, a few points. And then it's another row as well. Come on. Last, last turn of the game. Okay, so a one, perfect. And can I get anything else, really? If I can get a, if I roll a one, two, three, four, five, it's not even worth doing because it's not enough points. So I think I'm just going to not re-roll so Marty doesn't get uh, the use of re-rolls. I'm just going to take the one, fill that in, and that is you know, 16, and it's another row done. It's not a column, but I couldn't do that. So yeah, straight to Marty. Didn't get extra chance to fill things in. So I, unless he gets extremely lucky and rolls two twos, two threes, and a four, he's not completing anything else. And uh, yeah, there's nothing that... Has he got all five colours he has, hasn't he? Orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, yes. Yeah, there's nothing else that he can just grab that would give him points without completing it first. This is already surrounded by yellows. This isn't completed. If he could complete this, he hasn't actually completed a row or a column either. So Marty's last turn is pretty pointless. Uh, and uh, so he's, he's not even going to carry on because... Yeah, I, I can't f fill anything in. Now, I can't finish it, even if I get to copy three of his things. I can't finish a card. It's got five spaces left on it. And there's no way Marty can do anything either. So we're at the end. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry Marty, your last turn didn't matter. Okay. So what have we got? Let's do mine then. We've got scoring. So for every blue adjacent to this card, the card is completed, so the scoring's active. So that's 7, 14, 21 points there. This one's completed. Four points for every blue in my grid. So 4, 8, 12, 16. This one, five points for every two different bonuses. So I have actually... Oh no, I didn't complete this one. So I haven't got four different bonuses. I've got three different bonuses. I've got this one twice. So I just get five points from that one. It's a bit harsh, that one, I think. I think some are incredibly generous. Like, just have five different colours and get a ton of points. And some are quite strict. And like, yeah, completed rows and columns, only five points for each. But they do start to, if you complete loads of easy things, then they do start to rack up the points, don't they? That's the balance there. Uh, so yes, this one, five points for every completed row or column. So one, two, three, four. Isn't it? I think that's right. So that's going to be four times five is 20 points. And then that's all of the scoring. So for me, that is going to be... 41, 57, 62 points. And then Marty's is going to be nothing. Uh, that isn't completed. That one is completed. Should have a check. So he's got 20, 24, nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah, he's won by miles, hasn't he? And points for every completed, uh, not even completed, points for every or, uh, yellow adjacent, 8, 16, 24. So he's got 68 so yeah, just by picking these right cards, being able to, I should have probably put every effort in towards stopping him getting this one as well. I did try and stop him completing it, but yeah, unsuccessfully. So there we go. It's still quite a close game though. Marty just ekes it out with uh, the combo of uh, get all of the colours in your grid. But, you know, depending on how they come out and uh, how many players there are, there's uh, different situations, isn't there? Anyway, that is an example of Gone and Conan. But if you would like to seek it out yourself, if you'd like to know what I think about the game, that is coming up on the screen shortly or it's in the description now if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs uh, i have a patreon patreon.com forward slash slicker drips you get to vote on videos and get involved tell me what you think and what you would like to see and be part of it massive thanks to everybody that is supporting me on patreon now because hey this playthrough is made because of that <laughs> but anyway thank you for watching if you'd like to see more then there are nearly 400 playthroughs on this channel now and you can see plenty of other roll and write games uh, like welcome to like well that's uh, flip and fill you do it with cards rather than dice <laughs> game distracted right at the end of the video uh, harvest dice octo dice tons and tons of fantastic games it's a great uh, genre or style of mechanism of game anyway this is going to ramble on forever isn't it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone